A lot of people report feeling significantly less hungry, eating smaller portions, making better food choices, and losing weight easily while feeling energetic and focused when they take this medication that is also sold as a supplement. I'm talking about methylene blue. This molecule is known for its ability to increase energy production in the mitochondria, decrease free radicals, and improve the overall health of our cells. There's a lot of research on the ability of methylene blue to improve mental acuity, prevent or even possibly treat dementia, improve oxygen delivery, reverse skin aging, and even boost testosterone production. But you will find very little research on its function as a weight loss drug. So in this video, I will rely on data from my patient population, as well as my own experiences in using methylene blue on a regular basis. Now, we have known for a while that stimulants can help in facilitating weight loss through decreased appetite and an increased drive for physical activity. This is true for prescription medications like phentermine, phentametrazine, and diethylpropion that we have used for the past 45 years as appetite suppressants in weight loss management, but also for supplements like caffeine. So phentermine works by upregulating norepinephrine and dopamine in the hypothalamus, causing a decrease in appetite. Caffeine blocks adenosine receptors in the brain, decreasing tiredness and hunger. Now, methylene blue also has some stimulant properties and can increase heart rate and blood pressure slightly, but its activating properties are triggered in a very different way than facilitated by these other stimulants. So methylene blue increases cellular energy production at the mitochondrial level, and it does so by directly acting as an electron carrier within the mitochondrial electron transport chain. This optimizes electron flow within the mitochondria, boosting energy generation. Methylene blue also neutralizes free radicals that are a byproduct of energy production. And this protects the cell from oxidative stress and improves its health and functionality. Methylene blue very easily crosses the blood-brain barrier and is actually concentrated in this tissue. So a lot of it goes to the brain, actually. It therefore exerts a lot of its function here, improving cognitive function as well as a feeling of well-being. And interestingly, one of the applications of this amazing molecule is to decrease symptoms of depression. And in fact, methylene blue has been studied to treat depressive illness. Regarding this effect, we may draw some parallels to the prescription antidepressant bupropion, which is also known as Wellbutrin. Now, this is a norepinephrine and dopamine reuptake inhibitor. This medication can decrease symptoms of depression and decrease appetite, resulting in gradual weight loss in some patients. So given methane blue's ability to improve mood and act as a central nervous system stimulant, we can see that it may in fact have a profound role in appetite suppression and weight management. So as I mentioned before, patients in my clinic taking methylene blue at doses between 5 and 15 milligrams daily, about 4 to 5 days per week, report less hunger, eating smaller portions, making better food choices, and even implementing early time-restricted feeding, which is a form of intermittent fasting, at least one day a week without any problems, really. And this has led them to have a gradual fat loss and improve metabolic markers. Now, I currently take between 5 and 10 milligrams of methane blue about four days per week. Now, as we have no long-term data of using even small amounts of methylene blue regularly, I always advise patients to skip at least two days per week. And this allows really the methylene blue to clear out of your body. Now, you have to remember, most of it will not be metabolized. The vast majority of it is excreted as it goes in. And therefore, you will notice that your urine will turn greenish-blue. After about a day or two, that's going to stop. And that's kind of can tell you that it's sort of out of your body at this point. It's a very crude way to see how much is left in there, right? And so um, when we have these two to three uh, uh, days that we don't take it, and then also having regular uh, two to three week drug holidays, so we don't take it for two to three weeks, I think that's a very uh, good way to be conservative here and say, hey, let's just clear this out once in a while. Let's clear it out on a weekly basis and then take two or three weeks uh, consecutively off just to make sure that we don't have a continued buildup of this uh, molecule in our body since we don't really have long-term data. Again, we don't think there's any issues with it, but out of precaution, I think this is a good idea. And again, we haven't seen any data that showed adverse health events in people using small amounts of methylene blue up to about 15 milligrams daily for prolonged periods of time. 
And the 15 milligrams is interesting because that's also being studied in the prevention and treatment of dementia. So I think that seems to be a dose that you don't really have to go above, even if you want to treat some neurologic issues with it really, right? But again, these are only studies. This is not really a medication approved for this. Again, no long-term studies yet on this one either. That's why I feel it's especially important here to point out that this is not really medical advice what we're talking about here and that method in blue, which we can really think of rather a medication than a supplement, may have side effects in some people. The contraindications to taking methylene in blue include concurrent use of an SSRI, which is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor like Prozac or Paxil, as well as pregnancy or breastfeeding. So again, I think it's important to talk to your physician about this. Many physicians may not know what methylene in blue is, even though they should, because we do use it in the hospital setting in the emergency room. It's used intravenously to treat conditions like carbon monoxide poisoning or cyanide poisoning. So it's certainly a medication that we use in the hospital setting. But again, it's also sold uh, as a supplement. So you can buy this without a prescription. Again, that's why I will always would recommend run this by your physician. Hopefully they will know what it is. Now, I think when used responsibly, this medication may be a very useful part of a healthy and sustainable weight loss program. And it would be interesting to see study data on this application of methylene blue in the future. Now, if you found this topic interesting, you should check out this video here on the science and benefits of methylene blue and this video here on ways to boost your mitochondrial health.